we've talked about ponds and water gardening on Backyard Farmer, and we thought it was time to revisit that wonderful feature of the landscape and talk a little bit about some of the new technology. This pond was actually installed last fall, so this is a very, very new pond, and yet already you can see it's starting to assume its character as a wonderful addition to the landscape. This is also a pond that incorporates what we call pondless waterfall. The older ponds had a big skimmer box at the top, they had recirculating pumps and all those sorts of things, and then they also had the biofall system, and all of those sorts of things had to be actually hidden by plants, sit at the top, sit at the bottom, put kind of a fake stone on them, and those sorts of things. This one doesn't have a skimmer box, and it also doesn't have a biofalls. What it does have is it has the liner, it has the recirculating system, but everything drains down within into a very, very large, uh, essentially a sinkhole filled with stone. And that's what happens with that water. It recirculates and then comes back up again. Now, this is a waterfall also that has been created for a lot of sound. It's a very steep falls, um, goes down into a, a much more still pond at the bottom, but you get kind of the best of all worlds with this pondless waterfall system quiet pool at the top, rushing water going down the hill, much larger pool at the bottom that allows the owner to fill in with all sorts of different kinds of plant materials. He's got some great water lilies in here. He's got some things that are held in containers so that they don't escape and actually root themselves down into the pond. He's also got some of the things that we require in every sort of a pond, and that is the emergent plants and the floating plants. Now one of the things you might notice about this particular new pond is it does seem a little bit murky. You've got a little bit of green stuff going on here. But the owner told us that he's only used an algicide once in this entire season. And we know that it's been kind of an unusual season for getting algae bloom in, in water and those sorts of things. One of the reasons for that algae bloom in this situation is we really don't have much shade on this pond yet. Now the water lilies, as they expand, will help. So will the water hyacinth, the parrot's feather, all those things. But the other thing he has is in this low still pond is he has a lot of koi. The koi are happy enough here that they're actually reproducing. And those babies love that algae. They love the bugs. They're one of the things that is helping to keep this pond more, uh, more clean. Now the other thing that this pond also has, however, just like a, a more traditional pond with a biofalls and a skimmer, is we have the edges where the liner comes back underneath the stones. And one of the things we always want people to remember about that is even though obviously the water is wet and on a hot day like today it would feel great for birds and critters and people, the edges are very, very dry. Essentially that liner has turned, been turned under underneath the stone and within that environment you can actually grow the rock garden plants. That's another thing this owner has done. He's got some cushions of things tucked in and around the stones they really want that very, very dry environment. A lot of people don't have room for the great big ponds or the pondless waterfalls, but they do have room for a little bitty one like this one. This could be at a front door, it could be on a patio, and it's essentially exactly the same thing. It's a pit about five by five, so that's a lot of labor involved to get that soil out of, out of the ground and get those stones in there. But then all the recirculating equipment is in there and then just the little bubbler sticks up. And the real beauty of that is nobody can fall into this one and drown. You don't have a lot of surface water uh, to attract mosquitoes or insects or those sorts of things if you don't want to deal with fish. It's low, it's contained, it adds a little bit of sound, a little bit of movement, and lets you really enjoy the advantages of a larger water feature without having to go to the expense of a great big one or all the labor to get it in the ground. So again, the pondless waterfall systems are a really good option for people who maybe don't want to go with the old-fashioned biofalls sort of a system, and they do, do want to add water to their landscape.